Hi everybody, welcome back to Pagan's Witchy Corner. My name is Pagan, and today I'm joined by a new guest who is super awesome, and they are the author of Path of the Moonlit Hedge, Discovering the Magic of Animistic Witchcraft, Nathan M. Hall. Nathan, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. I'm uh, so glad to have you here. It's a pleasure to be here. So let's talk a little bit about your book. This is your first published one, correct? It is, yeah. Well, I'm so happy that you did. The book was fantastic. I enjoyed every aspect of it. It was so great. It was kind of for me because, you know, I, I've read so many of the books from Llewellyn. It was like sitting down with the best parts of so many of the authors I've come oh, to wow. love and adore, like <laughs> Storm Fairy Wolf, Laura Timpton Sackroth. Um, I, oh, gosh, That's... the names are escaping me at the moment. Uh, Matt That's Aron. very high praise. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I deserve it, but it's very high praise. And thank you very much. <laughs> it was literally like your book, you had taken the best parts of their teachings that they offer and all of the, their wisdom and it combined it or com combined with your best experiences of your life and put it into a book. And it was fantastic. It was such a great read. Yeah. I enjoyed every aspect of it. Well, you know, I th I think that it's, um, you know, I, I owe a debt to all of the people you mentioned and uh, especially to uh, Christopher Penzak, who wrote the foreword for my book, um, his influence and and several of the other people that you mentioned, uh, their influence on my witchcraft. Um, it wouldn't my witchcraft wouldn't be the same had it not been for them and their their influence. So I owe a huge debt of of gratitude to them for sure. They are all wonderful humans, and most of them, except Definitely. Christopher, has Christopher is the only one that I have not gotten on the show yet. Yeah. Yet, so <laughs> if Christopher, if you're listening, you have an invitation. <laughs> 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 um, but I digress. So let's talk about the book. What made you decide to write this book? Um, you know, obviously, you've been in the practice for a while, and you've uh, uh -huh. done lots of different stuff with your practice. But what made you decide that it was time to go ahead and write the book? Um, well, I, you know, I, I had been sort of on the hunt for most of my years in witchcraft um, for a book that really centered animism, because um, animism was is really my, it's not my practice, it's my worldview. Mm -hmm. So uh, witchcraft is my practice, animism is my worldview. So something where animism was just informing every aspect of of um, witchcraft is the kind of the book that I was looking for. And I think that there are a lot of um, witches that are out there now, or, you know, from, you know, the hi history of modern witchcraft who, who did and do um, sort of utilize animism in their practice and have it as a, as a, as a big part of their practice. But I just, I needed something that was just one step further, uh, or one step closer to what, how I, I kind of, my practice came together. Um, like I said, I, I did actually, you know, I've, I've taken um, classes with, in the mystery school at the Temple of Witchcraft with uh, Christopher Penzak and um, Storm Fairy Wolf is, is sort of um, like, I'm in, I'm an initiate of the fairy tradition mm -hmm. and He's my uh, initiator's initiator, so um, so there is definitely um, things that I've picked up um, from those two people and and learned uh, from their their practices and their um, expressions of of animism within their practice. But but I was looking for just that just that little little bit more. I wanted something just a little more um, closer to what I was doing. Well, I think Sorry, you did. It. My no, dog just barked in the background. You're fine. The dog wanted to say hi and be a part of the podcast. Dogs are welcome <laughs> as well, so that's totally fine. Um, but I think you did such a wonderful job at encompassing all of those aspects. And there's so many different Thank aspects you. within the book. Obviously, you talk about spirit allies. You talk about working with fungi, which was really interesting. Yeah. Um, I I am like a mushroom enthusiast. I love working nice. with fungi. Yeah, yeah. Me so. Too. I thought that that was really a fun chapter to, you know, kind of dive yeah. into. Uh, so, yeah. yeah. I almost didn't include that chapter. It was really, it just, it, it felt like I I'm, con I'm, I'm contracted, contracted for, for a second book with mm -hmm. Llewellyn um, that will sort of get deeper into these practices. And I was like, 
this was the one part where I was like, this feels like it belongs in that second book. You know, um, it was, it's, you know, everything else I tried to keep very uh, introductory so that people would be able to easily flow into um, starting to incorporate some of these things into their practice. And the mushroom chapter, the, the decompositional magical model was, was a, like my little taste of like a, a 201 kind of, of class or whatever, if you will. Um, so I almost didn't include it, but then I was like, no, I, you know, I, this is fun. And I think, I think it will resonate for some people. So it ended up making it in, but <laughs> <laughs> you did a really great job with it. And for me, it was kind of like dipping your toes into almost a necromantic kind of aspect to animism, which was really interesting. Mm. Um, and I was like, yeah. I really like that you did that because not a lot of the animism books that are out there really kind of talk about that. They talk about some kind of aspects with death, but most of the time yeah. it has to do with like spirits and those kinds yeah. of things. It doesn't actually have to do with the aspect of decomposition and all yeah. that which i thought was really fascinating and i'm excited for book two which we will talk about shortly but yeah, yeah. um i'm very excited that that's going to be a broader topic hopefully within book two yeah, yeah i think I'll, I'll definitely there will be a deeper dive into into that concept there's going to be the idea is is essentially that um it's going to be a series of, of deeper dives into oh, into neat. more uh, detailed aspects of, of my practice. So, That's going to be very yeah. neat. I'm excited yeah, for that. Yeah. Uh, so out of all of the aspects of your book, um, now you, you've covered lots of topics, it's lots of topics and lots of ranges of things. What would you say is probably the most influential part of it or your favorite part or both yeah um <laughs> it's really hard for me to to you know like it's it's your you know it's my child i can't i can't pick a favorite part of it. <laughs> <That's fair. laughs> but but you know the decompositional magical model chapter was really one of my favorites um what i'm glad that i included and that i spent as much time on as I did was the chapter on the healing journey. Mm, yes. Um, just because I feel like when you're starting out with, with witchcraft, you're getting into it because, you know, for whatever reasons, you know, some, there's some people, you know, like it, it's usually a blend of reasons why people get involved with witchcraft. If it's the, you know, it feels a little salacious or, or dangerous or dark or spooky whatever <laughs> and then there's you know the herbalism aspect of it and and then the spell crafting part like i i love um i love creating spells i love creating ritual um i love all of the bells and smells as uh as evo dominguez says and um it's so getting getting all of that getting wrapped up in all of that is is part of the fun but i think that it's you know it's not until you really start deepening your practice if if you are a pr practitioner that actually digs deeper over time and tries to develop your your craft uh and evolve your craft then you come quickly to this point where you realize there's a lot of healing that you need to do in order not to carry your baggage into your craft. Yes, Which, yeah. <laughs> I, I fully believe that as well. And I think that a lot of people do come into witchcraft, not so much. I mean, yes, the spooky part is definitely always a vibe when you go start yeah. practicing witchcraft. But yeah, I yeah. think also there's a call that comes that your soul needs something yeah. that you can't find in basically traditional religion. Right. Um, which is a whole nother topic on its own. Oh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I do like it. I think the healing journey chapter also was one of the ones that really stood out for me because you really break down those deeper dives of how to go deeper to how yeah. to connect with your own personal demons, which you're like, nobody right. likes that term. It's squeamish. No. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, Definitely. doing those kinds of things, I think, is something that as all, you know, all practitioners, we have to get in touch with the deeper, darker yeah. sides of ourselves yeah. in order to be the best versions of ourselves. For sure. And I think that, um, I mean, it goes beyond witchcraft too. I, I, humanity in general has a lot of demons to exercise within, oh, yes, within we do. ourselves. <laughs> um, 
So, I mean, it's, it's, you know, my target audience is which, you know, witches and witchcraft, but I feel like in general, like we're all due for a good, you know, a good sit down, good therapy session and some deeper work. <laughs> yes. Yes. I, I support that message wholeheartedly. <laughs> So I think that that is something that is what we really need to do. And I yeah. encourage anybody who's listening out there that you're just like, no, I don't want to get in touch with that. I don't want to do the shadow work. I don't want to do that. That's fine. You don't have to. No. That's your choice. You yeah. don't have to. We recommend it, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah, It's a challenge. I mean, it's definitely challenging. It's not it's not the it's not the fun stuff. It's not the no. fun part of witchcraft not necessarily. But in my in my path, it has been. And continues to be uh, one of the most uh, important parts, for sure. Mm -hmm. I think that that's definitely something that is a huge part of mine as well. And there have been times where my my deities will, you know, drag me kicking and screaming through what right. I need to work through, whether <laughs> I want to or not. They're like, yeah. you, you want to go to the next level? That's cool. You have to work through this path first. Yep. So yep. you can go on your own, or we're going to take you with us. Take your pick. <laughs> 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 yeah it's always better to uh to go of your own free will <laughs> yeah yeah I, i've done both and it's <laughs> yeah. i would always volunteer before i would go kicking yeah. and screaming again because yep. that's kind of like being tossed in the deep end of the pool and going are you gonna drown no yeah. no okay cool you didn't die good job you're traumatized <laughs> but you didn't die <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> so i thought that that was a really great aspect i mean you, there's so many aspects of your book that are just so good and it, you encompass so many different topics that it's just like how do you touch yeah. on all of them so yeah. shameless plug was... moment everyone <laughs> go buy nathan's book if you would like to know all the deeper topics yeah please I, do. <laughs> I can't tell you all of them just please go buy it the link is in the description y'all know by now how to get there if you're new to the show this is the shameless plug go see the link in the description by nathan's book and done with shameless plug <laughs> thank you <laughs> so what is next on the horizon now obviously you have a you talked a little bit about a series what yeah. what do you think you're going to do for book two are you going to do specific individual topics or are you going to do I think broader that kind of yeah. ones like you did with this yeah so i've i've started working on it um i actually had to get an extension i was hoping to be done with it this year but i think it's going to be have to wait until uh 2024 mm -hmm. um before before i even turn it in because of just how much um how many conferences and different things that i've i've signed myself up for <laughs> um but um yeah, so it's going to be uh, a deeper dive into a lot of the things that I talk about in this book. There will probably be a deeper dive into healing practices and the healing journey. Um, there will um, definitely be a deeper dive into some of the decompositional magical model and um, and some of the other things like um, that I just lightly touched on, like time, you know, and Oh, yeah, and that was a really using good time spot. in your in your workings and and things like that. So, um, and then you know just you know maintaining the you know the through line of the you know making making contact with spirits, creating relationships, deepening relationships, and uh, how and why to do that, and you know probably sharing some anecdotes from my own practice as well. That sounds fantastic. I'm so excited yeah. for book two. Uh, yeah, thank you. Sad I have to wait till 2024, which <laughs> probably would be the case after editing yeah. and production and all that. So yeah, it um, might actually be early 2025 if I'm, if I'm if I'm being really honest, because I won't turn it in until I think my deadline is June of 2024 right now. So I I'll hit that deadline no problem, but then it goes into production, and I don't I don't know how long all of that'll take. That's completely uh, fair. Also, yeah. to everybody who's listening, <laughs> if you hear random thunder, it's storming really hard outside. Um, so there may be some accidental thunder that ends up on the podcast. So <laughs> um, just for the record, if that's what you hear, no, you're not crazy. There is thunder happening on this podcast. So if it gets picked up, there you go. Um, yeah, my neighbor's dogs are barking. My dog's barking. <laughs> it, it is a day of interesting sounds on the podcast, yeah, which yeah, is yeah. always fun. <laughs> 
Now, you ha- said you signed yourself up for a lot of events. Where can people yeah. go to connect with you this year? Um, so, yeah, I've got, um, I'm appearing at Mystic South in Atlanta. I'm also on the board of Mystic South. Mm-hmm. Um, it's the uh, 14th, July 14th through the 16th. And uh, I think, you know, people can, if you want to come, you can come. There's still, you know, you can get tickets at the door for day passes and things like that. And just go to the mystic-south.com website and find out more. Um, beyond that, I'm going to be, and there's a bunch of them. Um, <laughs> I'm going to be at, let me just pull this up real quick. Um, Pagan Pride Day in Sunrise, Florida, September 16th. Um, I'll be doing a class at Pentagram in Salem on oh, September cool. 21st. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I haven't been to Salem in a couple years, so I'm, I'm really excited for that. Um, and then that weekend, September 22nd through 24th, I'll be at Temple Fest teaching a couple classes there. And that's part of the Temple of Witchcraft. Uh, and then after that, um, end of October for Samhain, I'll be uh, at Florida Pagan Gathering. And I think that's everything, but there might be other things I'm forgetting. So. <laughs> that sounds like a very fun full schedule. So yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm assuming, do you have a website where people can, you know, see these dates and know where they could find them? Yeah, yeah. So um, everything, you can find me at moonlithedge.com. Um, I'm also on Instagram at moonlithedge. Okay. And um, my sub stack is, is probably one of the things that I keep up the most with. Um, but it's all been kind of hard as I've been in this like weird promoting my first book thing and trying to figure out what that even means. <laughs> yes, I completely understand that. Yeah. And <laughs> trying to keep up with schedules is difficult. And so right. um, everybody, all of Nathan's links will be in the show description. So if you want to connect with him or many of the other authors, because I know that a few that have been on the show have also said they're going to Mystic South. Um, so make sure you yeah. check all of that info out. There will be links there. You can find everything through him. If you have questions, you could probably DM him on Instagram to, you yeah. know, find out what's going on. Uh, so definitely check those out. If you can make the events, awesome. If you can't, that's okay. If you yeah. would still want to follow our authors, social media is a great place to do that. So sure. I'm so excited for your books. I think your books are going to be so great. And I'm Thank this you so book. Much. The Path of the Moonlit Hedge was fantastic. I'm so thankful that uh, Llewellyn was like, hey, do you want a copy? And I'm like, yes, I have not heard of this author. I'm not sure who they are. Now we're going to be friends and you're going to come back every time yeah. when you have a new book. So hey. <laughs> it's a deal. it is a deal. Well, um, now you've already talked about social media. Is there anything else? Do you have any classes that you're teaching outside of the events? Um, like, um, do you have like Patreon or anything like that? Yeah, I most of what I focus on right now is Substack. I've got a Patreon, but I don't really use it. Like I said, I'm I was trying to prepare myself for like the full author launch or whatever, but <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I'm I'm also just kind of like feeling my way through it. So, I, you know, Substack right now is probably the best place to find me. Okay. And support me. Um I I think I have a, like a subscription option available. But you can also just sign up and get free newsletters from me as well. That so. always works too. So there yeah. you go. Everybody, you've heard it here first. And <laughs> this is the best place for you to find all of Nathan's stuff. Make sure you buy a copy of Nathan's book. I guarantee you're going to love it, hey. especially if you're interested in an- animism and all of the aspects of hedge witchery included in that as well. There's so much really cool stuff in the book that honestly I could spend two hours talking about it, but I'm not going to because I want you to go buy the book and have your own deep dive into it. So Nathan, this has been so much fun. I'm so thankful that you were able to be here. This was great. And uh, everybody who's listening, make sure you take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and we'll see you all next time. Bye everyone. If you're a lover of Pig and Switchy Corner, then prepare for some really exciting news. I have started a new podcast, Pagan's Reading Nook. Don't worry, I'm still going to be creating all the Pagan Switchy Corner content that you all love. But as you all know, I have a huge passion and love of books, which has led me to create this new show. 
On Pagan's Reading Nook, I will be discussing the books that I'm reading, showcasing brand new titles, and sitting down with some amazing authors to talk about the worlds and the characters they've created. I will also be discussing new releases, fan favorites, and classic tales that have enchanted us throughout time. So, if you are a fan of this show, make sure you head over there and subscribe, and grab your favorite beverage, and join me as we dive into harrowing tales, seductive romances, and thrilling adventures in the fiction world.